Part of a top secret U.S. military project called Project Iceworm, Camp Century was an underground Cold War network built in 1959 at the height of the Cold War when the U.S. and the USSR were engaged in a standoff over the deployment of Soviet missiles in Cuba. Camp Century was built 124 miles off the coast of Greenland, which was then a country of Denmark, by the U.S. Army Engineering Corps under the guise of conducting research and studying the feasibility of working under the ice. Its true purpose as a ballistic missile site was hidden from the Danish government. Details of the missile base project remained secret for decades and first came to light in January 1995 during an inquiry by the Danish Foreign Policy Institute into the history of the use and storage of nuclear weapons in Greenland. Known as the city under the ice, it was secreted away eight meters beneath the ice. The sprawling complex and network of ice tunnels spread out over three kilometers. It housed its own laboratories, hospital, cinema, shop, chapel, and had accommodations for over 200 soldiers. Incredibly, it was powered by the world's first mobile nuclear generator. Initially, the U.S. Army was considering the construction of a vast subterranean extension of Camp Century, a system of an additional 4,000 kilometers of icy underground tunnels and chambers were to extend over an area around three times the size of Denmark and house 600 ballistic missiles. Engineers eventually realized Iceworm could not work. Although the Greenland ice cap appears on its surface to be hard and immobile, snow and ice are viscoelastic materials which slowly deform over time depending on temperature and density. The constantly shifting ice was too unstable and would have deformed the tunnels and eventually caused them to collapse. From 1964, Camp Century was used only intermittently, and three years later, it was totally abandoned. The departing soldiers took the reaction chamber of the nuclear generator with them. When the camp was decommissioned and abandoned in 1967, its infrastructure and waste were left there under the assumption they would be entombed forever by the perpetual snowfall. A 2016 study found that the portion of the ice sheet covering Camp Century will start to melt by the end of the century if current trends continue. When the ice melts, the camp's infrastructure, as well as any remaining biological, chemical, and radioactive waste will re-enter the environment and potentially disrupt nearby ecosystems. The issue of who will be responsible for cleanup of the site remains uncertain at this time. Denmark allowed the U.S. to build Camp Century and other bases on Greenland in a 1951 agreement, but it is unclear how much it was towed about the work being done there or the waste left behind. Complicating matters further, Greenland became largely self-governing in 1979. As always, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe.